everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my 2016 quarter for empties, you know, about a half month late. But anyways, I had some products that I was like, I'm almost done, let me just finish them. So this is always split into two videos. I have all makeup in one video, and then all, all things beauty but non-makeup in another video. I do a scale, 1 to 10, I call it the meh scale basically uh zero i didn't like it at all five it was mediocre ten it's a holy grail so if you want to see the products that i use in the last three months of december of 2016 then just keep watching here we go all right so this is the bin that we are working with um this is just from target i think uh, I want to show you something really quick. Today I picked up the Cover Girls. This is their uh, True Naked Jewel Tone. This just came out. I saw videos of it last week and I was really excited to try it. It is a collab with um, our looks designed by Pat McGrath. I don't know if that means she like collabed with it or made looks once it was made. I don't know. All I know is these colors are very pretty to look at. I have the green one on my eyes right now. I don't know if you can see it, but um, these colors are just gorgeous. This green color drew me in, and this kind of like um, champagne-y color drew me in. Of course, that purple looks beautiful, and this pink. Um, I don't know. I, I Like I said, I used this green one today. I don't think that these are going to be very pigmented on their own. I think they're definitely something you're going to want to put a base down, and then maybe use a setting spray on your eyeshadow brush to get the look you want. But, I mean, it was $15, but I got it at CVS and had like the CVS cash back and then the 15% off a beauty purchase. So it ended up being about $10 for me. So I would say try to find like a deal like that. But other than that, I think it's really cool. I'm kind of to the point with my makeup that I own so much that I basically... Something's going to have to be pretty unique for me to buy it, and I thought that this was really unique, so just wanted to share that. Um, I don't want to sort all of this out, so I'm just going to kind of grab, in this video we're going to do non-makeup, so I'll just grab all the non-makeup products, and I'm super casual today, it's Sunday evening, and I was like, I don't have anything to post on my channel next week, so... I thought I would just go ahead and film, and I'm like sitting more in the cozy chair, so we're just chilling today. Um, so here we go. The first thing we have is Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the Sassy and Darling. Sassy. This I get from Marshalls or TJ Maxx because it's only $5-ish. This is a 10. I love it. I've already, already repurchased this exact kind. I do like their dark one too, but that one's never on sale. So yeah, that's a 10. I've already repurchased it. The next is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Butter Butter. I know that the Coconut Butter, I loved that one before it, like, it hit YouTube and everyone was like, oh my god, it's so amazing. I'm like, yeah, I know. But anyways, uh, the pumpkin one I'd never seen before, so I picked it up and it smells just like pumpkin. It's just as good as the Coconut one. Um, I bought two, but now... Uh, the other one's still full. I've just kind of recently gotten into it. But it's limited edition, so you can't buy it anymore. So I'm going to give it an 8. I think the coconut butter one is a 10. If you find it, buy it, use it, love it, that kind of thing. But the pumpkin one, it's like it only comes out in the fall. So I'm only going to give it an 8. Next for drugstore uh, skincare, this is Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This is for extra sensitive skin. This is a more affordable drug care, drugs, wait, what? <laughs> more affordable skin care from the drugstore. Uh, you can always, always do like coupons and that kind of thing. And this has better ingredients. It doesn't have like all parabens and that kind of thing. And it says on the back, oil free, fragrance free, dry, dye free. Um, I like this. The only thing is it says it's for extra dry skin, which I have extra dry skin, and it's still not nourishing enough for me. I still feel like I need like an oil or something else to add to it. So I'm not going to repurchase it. I'm going to say it's a 5. It's not a bad formula, but it didn't really do what I needed it to do. So will not repurchase. I mean, maybe if it was on sale and I was out of something, I would, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get it. This is a Vino um, shaving gel. I always get this. This is a 10. I either get the real brand or I will get like the kind of 
store brand, wherever I'm at, whether it's Kroger, Meyer, Walmart, Target, wherever I'm at, I always get this or their store brand. And I really like it. It's just soothing, easy to use, no big deal. Next up is another Trader Joe's item. This is the Tea Tree Tingle Body Wash. Absolutely love this. The tingle on it isn't very intense. Tea Tree can be like, <laughs> this one's not bad. It just makes you feel clean, but it's not like too tingly. So this is a five. Like this, if I'm at Trader Joe's and I need body wash, I'll pick it up because it's under five dollars. But it's not something I would make a special trip to Trader Joe's for. Here is another ten. This is the Renew um, Con whoop, Contact Cleanser. This one doesn't irritate my eyes. There are a lot that irritate my eyes, and this does not. So this is a ten. I actually just bought some today when I was at the store. All right. So let's see. Here we have. This is a ten. These little, what are they called, plackers, the little just flossers. I always get these. Um, I know they're kind of wasteful being like that plastic stick, whatever, but it works. I have healthy teeth, so we're just going to stick with it. <laughs> um, here are my two Holy Grail uh, toothpaste. I've been using these for years, so if you've seen these videos, you've seen this before. But it's Crest 3D White and the Radiant Mint and the Tom's Anti-Plaque and Whitening uh, Fluoride Fluoride Free. I use the Tom's in the morning and then the 3D White in the evening. I just think that they both work nicely. Um, the 3D White really does help keep my teeth clean, but it's a very harsh, chemically filled toothpaste, like most of them at the drugstore. So I don't want to use only that, so I thought I would just use it once a day. Um, but I really like it. Okay, some of these things are from Rolling Project Pans, so there's one that I haven't filmed yet, so I'm not going to show that first product. Um, Alright, this is the OGXC Mineral Moisturizing. This is an oil hairspray. I absolutely love this. I don't like this smell a lot. I had to kind of force myself to use this because of the smell, but I love the formula. I prefer the one that has the coconut smell, and I thought I was buying that one, but I didn't. So this is a really good, I give it a 9. I do repurchase it often, I just don't always have it on hand, so absolutely love that. Here I have the Swispers Cotton Rounds. I got the Costco pack like, what, a year ago, and I'm still going through them. Um, these are a five. I mean, I think they're just average cotton rounds, nothing to get too excited about. I did buy the Shiseido ones, cotton, whatever they're called. Love them. Worth the hype, worth the money, but they're too expensive to use on everything. Like, I just use them on my face, so these are good for, like, nails and other things. Um, here's another thing. This is the Andalou Naturals um, Age Defying. This is their Daily Defense Facial Lotion with SPF 15. This is a 10. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm using one from Trader Joe's just because I got real cheap like two months ago and just stocked up on a bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's. But this is my go-to and I will go back to it once I'm done with what I'm currently using. This is um, a shampoo for psoriasis. Um, sorry, the bottle like all wonky. This is a three. Like I don't. I have psoriasis on my scalp. Like it's very dry. That's why I'm very careful about the ingredients in my hair products and well, beauty products, skincare products in general because parabens in hair products will like irritate my scalp instantly. Like like it will literally feel like it's on fire and obviously that's not a very comfortable feeling so um I bought this to use and in its defense I didn't use it consistently enough I would just use it if my scalp felt felt irritated so maybe if I used it consistently I would see like a difference or something but I haven't really noticed anything and I've been very consistent with using products that don't have sulfates or parabens in them and also being light about styling products and I haven't had many issues recently with my hair so what else all right almost to the bottom here is um amino herbal hydrating mask OZ naturals this came in a beauty subscription box a while ago I only used about half of it and I just I was done with it. It expired and I don't like it. It's like a slimy mask. Like you know how some masks you put them on and they don't really set and then when you wash them off it's like slime coming off your face. Like this was 
like that, if that makes sense. And I just don't like it. It's a zero. I would never repurchase or recommend it. Here is Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil Primer. I absolutely love this. This also came in a sub subscription box. I think it was the Sephora Play when I, I got it a couple years ago. Absolutely love this. The price point is like outrageous. So unless I was feeling crazy, I don't foresee myself using it. But it's really nice. It'd be worth purchasing if I wanted to spend $30 on it. <laughs> Here's another face mask. This is Glam Glow. This came in the Sephora kit this year that came out in the fall. Um, typically I don't like the Glam Glow samples. This is the first one that I actually enjoyed. I would not go spend $70 on it, but it was a five. Like, I liked it more than I had liked other samples I had used in the past. Alright, and then a couple more things. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boost Boosting Mist right here. This is just nice. I bought um, a kit that has a bigger size one in it. The mist on it is like perfection. Like I think this product's a seven. Like I think any hydrating product would do its job, but it is really nice and refreshing and I did repurchase it in a kit. So I, I like it. I like it all right. And then the very final product. No, there's two more products. First up is the um, Bifacil Lancome Eye Makeup Remover. This is a seven. Um, I wouldn't repurchase. Well, I'm not going to say that. This is expensive, but it comes in a lot of kits, so you could get it affordably somehow, um, but it really works. Like, it does what everyone says it does. It's probably one of the best eye makeup remover products I have used. I don't have any plans on repurchasing one anytime soon, but it is worth the hype. Okay? Okay. And then finally, we have Purology Conditioner. Um, this one is Hydrate Light. I still am working on the conditioner. I really wanted to try this because of the hype and people talk about the ingredients and it being good for sensitive scalps and that kind of thing. This is a crazy expensive product. Crazy expensive product. Um, and I just thought it was okay. Like, I didn't notice anything special about it. This itself was like $10, but I got it when there was like a sale at Ulta or something. But I, I wouldn't pay the 50 well, like the one size is like $50 or $30, and the other side's like six, $60. I don't know. I wouldn't pay either price. I didn't think it was worth it, but I'm glad I got to try it before buying like the huge container of it. And that is everything for non-beauty. And I actually don't have a lot of makeup, so... Maybe I should just, no, we'll do separate. We'll do separate. The makeup one will be short, but that's fine. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Those were my non-beauty empties for the end of 2016. Um, stay tuned. Next week will be my makeup empties, and we'll just keep doing this in 2017. We'll just keep doing this in 2017. It works better for me to go three months because then I have products from a project panned in there and it's just easier that way so thank you all for watching um hit subscribe i'm dropping products hit subscribe if you like what you see what you saw yeah okay anyways i'll see you on my next video bye